So let's get a brief idea about the TypeScript as well. I can say that this series is very beginner friendly. You don't need any additional course on a TypeScript. We will going to learn the TypeScript one by one throughout this series only. I'm going to give you a just brief overview about the TypeScript and in the later of this video series, you will learn the TypeScript with the React. Just don't be, I mean, scared with the TypeScript. TypeScript is a JavaScript only with some additional feature. Okay. So the basically the TypeScript have all the functionality of the JavaScript along with some additional feature. You can say that TypeScript is a superset of the JavaScript and what it does offer and why people are using the TypeScript because in a JavaScript, we don't have a type check functionality. Okay. So in a JavaScript, we have a three thing late for and cons and suppose if I will go here, suppose here I have the index.js and we have a three thing late or cons or var and we can normally create a variable with the late suppose I have created a variable and I have assigned this variable as a string and later point of time if I will assign this variable as number then we can assign it okay we will not get any kind of error but in a TypeScript what will going to happen it's closely bound with the type as well like if I have created a variable and we have to assign this variable as a type as well like if I will assign this variable as a string let's change the name to b and uh, if I will assign it to the hello world and later point of time if I want to assign this variable again to a number then it will going to throw an error it will simply say us type number is not assignable to type string because we already assigned to this variable a type which is a string. Generally you know the primitive data types like a string. Okay, this is a string boolean. We have the number. These are the primitive data types. Okay, which is predefined. Okay, so we can assign it to the boolean. Okay, so for boolean we have to assign it to the false or something then only otherwise it will going to throw an error and here if you see that you can get an error message type number is not assignable to the boolean or we have a number primitive data type and here you will get an error that boolean is not assignable to type number so so we have a type checking as well with the javascript earlier in, if you go on an index.js that is a javascript code you can assign anything over here if you assign a, a to a false then it will not going to throw an error or if you assign a to a number then it will not going to throw an error because in a javascript we are not checking the types in a javascript okay but in a typescript we are checking the types so if we assign a type differently on some variable we get the error in the vs code itself which is really good right so these are the primitive data types right number string and boolean along with that we can define our own type with interface like we have a, a keyword interface and with help of this keyword like let me just create an interface for you interface suppose i have created x interface and here i can define the types as well so suppose uh, we wanted a text in this thing like a string and a number like number okay and let's assign this type to another variable let me create another variable let bh and let's assign this type x okay so what does that will do that now this thing is assigned to this type okay this x type so suppose if i will going to assign this bh with some string then it will going to throw an error and it will show us a uh, that bhx string is not assigned 
neighbor to the type x so it's a type of the object so here we need two things that will be a text hello and also we need a number 8 now it, you can see that it's not throwing an error so generally we can create our own type with help of the interface also we have a special keyword called type type c equal to we can do this thing here as well so to create our own type we have a two different thing that is a type or interface i just wanted to give you a brief idea and we can do the same thing over here okay so it is not throwing an error if i will add an extra thing like jk jk78 okay so it will going to throw an error that we cannot assign this thing with the type c so all the error we can catch here only okay in a javascript we don't have this funda functionality that at the at a run time we cannot get the error or something which causing by the code but with help of the TypeScript, now we can get the error in at a time of writing the code only and we can solve this error. So because of that, what happening that we can easily debug the code right now. Okay. Along with that, this thing, TypeScript will help us to autocomplete the code as well. Let's see the example. So here I have created one object and here if I will console log this object property like I wanted to console log the test 2 dot and here you will see couple of thing number 2 test 2 text 2 like this but if I will do the same thing with the TypeScript suppose I have created the type of this thing where we have text and number so if I will just trying to console log then you will going to see that if I will click on a dot then it will auto complete the thing number text okay the same thing we don't have i mean we are getting uh, an ominous thing like we are getting console log number two test all the variable we have created over here we are getting here okay but we are not getting the exact auto complete thing but in a typescript if you define something then you will get automatically the auto complete which is a very good property for the developer so they don't have to write all the thing or remember the variable or thing they have created that is the second thing the third thing let's talk about the jsx how it differ on a jsx as well in a jsx i have created a parent okay in a parent what i am do, doing that i am using one component that is created by me which is a child component and this child component have three thing text two number two and bool two okay so it's taking the three parameter and i am using it over here okay if i will don't pass those three parameter then in a child all these three things will be undefined okay and basically because of that we will get some kind of error at the time of running the code okay but same thing if i will do on a typescript so here i have the parent class and i have the child class okay so here we have the child class as well and here i have created the type of the child class okay and we are getting three props text number and bool and i'm using this child class in a parent and you can see that i'm not passing anything and because of that it is saying that is missing the following properties child props text one number one bool one which means that if you don't pass the props then it will say us that yeah you you have to suppose pass the uh, properties and you are not passing it because of that i'm throwing the error so because of that you can see that typescript is giving us a hint already in at a time of writing the code that if you forgot something then it will throw an error and that error will help us to debug the code easily before deploying or before running the code okay so that's why many people are using the typescript because we have intelligence i mean we can auto complete the thing easily we can get the error in the editor only and it will make the developer life easy to debug the things okay that's why many people in a startup are using the typescript 
it's totally my mindset that you should use the typescript but in this course if you don't want to use the typescript then no worry you can use this course without typescript as well okay you just have to use all the time if you are i mean if i were using the tsx instead of the tsx just use the jsx instead of using the ts use the js and all the code will work perfectly you just have to omit the type thing only so suppose here i have declared the type you just don't need to declare the type and don't pass it like just normal javascript code you can run okay so let's go on the documentation page also and see what are the thing they are saying that is an editor check which i told you that if you don't have the name i mean type defined then it will going to throw an error autocomplete which i talk about that it will give you a hint that what are the thing available for that specific variable interface which we already talk about and jsx thing which we already talk about that if you don't pass anything then it will going to throw an error i again saying you this thing that typescript is easy thing okay and you don't need any kind of pre uh, course to be done to start this course we will learn the thing one by one together okay and let's explore the typescript together in this course only i'm also a beginner on the typescript i don't have expertise and we will learn together because that's what we do so see you all thank you again and uh, in the next video let's discuss a brief thing about the component library then we will configure the our project thank you all see you on our next video